Um, okay, I wasn't meant to be doing that specifically. I was meant to be continuing the act four. But that's okay. We got a little thing. Oh, wait, there's some meat that I missed. Whoops. Hello, Spiff. How's your Friday been? I know you were busy today. Um, yeah, we've got Kale on here because we needed some dandro. Well, I was worried we would need some more dandro. But actually, it was fine. Did I read this one? Wait, can I light this? I can. Does it help? Not really. Yeah, these are all really sad. It was okay, went quick. Oh, fair enough. That probably means you were very busy then, yeah. Was there any more reading stuff down here? Probably not, otherwise I probably wouldn't have got the achievement. I guess. Okay, well that's that done. Alright. I am doing story stuff, Spiff. I know you probably don't care because you're probably thinking that you're so far behind you won't remember it, but that's fine. Just a warning. Oh, I'm at 55%. That was an extra 3% of exploration from just doing like a... Like a hidden world quest. We are doing we are doing story stuff. Another spoiler warning for people. Okay, let's go. I don't know if it's going to put me straight into a cutscene. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, I'm going to swap back to Toma. Let's get out That was going to make me fight anything right now, but it might in a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what are we doing? We're back. We're back. Hot people. Spiff, look, it's hot people. Well, unless you don't want to watch, it's fine. Spoilers. You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. All the hot people are in this. What's the situation? Hmm. Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who is too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. And he's very confused. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elizar Hospital served as the Academia's site for extracting Divine Cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much! Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since Divine Cant knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Huh. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Why is that? We may have a mole in our midst. Great. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. I'll hate them. Best not be you. Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? <sighs> Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Is it you? Sino. You're the reason why they can predict our movements. Because he's so obvious? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> it is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. Not on purpose. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, I'll hate them. Since you were always acting alone. True. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. Ouch. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? <laughs> as a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, so he's the one that's wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. True. The Academia is monitoring me? Yeah. It's not that simple. 
The Academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha oh. through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? Yeah. But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. Okay, but our oh, Hatham is the only one here wearing an Akasha terminal. So surely he's the one that's being tracked still. Unless Dia still has one. The Akasha is capable of computation. <sighs> the Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements no, I don't using think she the data is. entered. But he is. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. It predicted my every move. The Academia has been watching you longer than you think. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles he's so predictable. strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Mm -hmm. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the Academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Yeah. Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. Bless him. They escaped because of me. Aww. Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. I feel so bad for him. I have an idea. If they predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounce back fast. Oh, he does, There's yeah. always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! If the Academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... Yep, that's right! They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she already Let's knows? Go. There's okay. also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go, too! He sucked. This might be dangerous hmm. for you. You're a baby. You want to go, too? If so, you have to promise you'll stay safe. I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful Aww. and I'm not cause any trouble. Everyone, Bless I him. leave him in your hands. Yay! Okay. Let's go! Remember to pack some food with you. God damn it, Paimon. feels like we're missing someone, though. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Candace. I'll be awaiting your good news. We've spoken to him already. All right, let's go. Has he gone? Oh god, what are you doing out there? Sino! Hello, there he is. So, where do we go from here? Good question, I don't know. Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Okay. I know Doing the a little job. Like the back of my hand. Sure, he's up. Whatever. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert, but I was the one who brought him back. He was waiting for me, bless him. Oh, what's he found on the floor? There's something here. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. Oh, dear. I love him. 
Confinements are running around everywhere was already enough work. Okay, okay. So, we have to take it out? Whatever's down there, it looks like it's buried really deep. Okay, what is it? These are likely fragments of an academia-developed device, something oh, akin no. to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Did Grandpa leave us tracks? Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Okay. Is it a headset like his headset? Because he wears a headset, right? Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. It's not the same as his, but... This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. Bad. How did it end up buried in the sand? Are they giving them like lobotomies? can't have been part of the plan. Because that's not good. They must have been attacked along the way. Wait, what? Yeah. Grandpa, I Aww. hope you're okay. Don't worry, your grandpa's gonna be fine. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. Bad. We should be able to catch up. One more okay. thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand, I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. To the sandstorm, yeah. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. I love these two so much. Like, ugh. Ugh, but running on sand is so tiring. But Where is he going? you're flying, aren't you, Paimon? Is flying over sand tiring too? Ugh, of course it is. She's so funny. Come on then, Sino. We're going. I'm right here. Don't worry about me. Let's move out. Voices. Over there. That sounds like an argument. Whoa. You have really good ears. <laughs> he does. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. Oh. Scary. Wait, that's dear. Dia. Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hmm. Uh -oh. Very interesting. Let's listen in. Unless she's trying to get info. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to... You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to... <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Oh, that's not good. Dia? Why would you... Dia! He's like, no, oh, hey, fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? We'll do it. Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? He's like, no. <laughs> Why are you on their side? <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Oh, no. He's messed it up for uh, everyone. This complicates things. You've betrayed Aru Village? I hope not. So. This is the great General Mahamatra. <laughs> Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself, I have the means and methods, and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. Damn. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. It doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing could deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting the Scarlet King. Once our Lord of Old returns to this land, we will have a new beginning. Sir, I will remove your other eye. Face the facts, Raman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of the Scarlet King. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. Okay. It's not too late yet. The village keep... Uh, mad scholars aren't going to bring the Scarlet King back to life. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. 
Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. Even if it'll expose you to the Academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. <sighs> We've Damn. waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the Academia. With these scholars in our custody, mm -hmm. we'll stomp the Academia's forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. Oh, ridiculous. Think about it. The Academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If She's you still right. don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the Academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. Nice. <laughs> they look more like pawns of the Academia to me. Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed the Scarlet King. We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Fight. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the Academia? These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. These scholars were exiled okay. from the Academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe and will be a much greater asset to you. What kind of game is he playing? He's sacrificing himself, but he thinks he's going to get something out of it because his motives are always personal. Wait, you can't be serious. So, Let him do it. You want to trade places? He knows with what he's doing. Do you? Of all things, he knows what he's doing. Precisely. Mm. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. I love him. What are you thinking? What I love if they him. decide to kill you instead? Well, that would be bad luck for me. <laughs> However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars. Perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours? Yeah, that's his whole thing. I'm not yeah. trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the Academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the Academia? God, how long have you got? Not all desert dwellers believe in the Scarlet King, and the same applies to the Academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the Academia's way of doing things? <laughs> you Academia scum. Damn. Okay. Every last Maybe one of work. you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. I've made myself clear enough. I won't listen to another word from the Dendro Archon's people. Not so fast. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? Yeah, I he do. does. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? <sighs> We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. <sighs> Come on, Raman. Don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. She's good. Huh. An arm from the flame main. You've piqued my interest. But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here, dear. We're mercs. The mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. Uh, let's do it right here, then. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. Uh. Don't listen to him. He's not even trying to negotiate. He just wants to make things more difficult. That's fine. Are you crazy? We came here to save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. Is it 
Is it detachable? Because she's got so much armor on it, I think she can just take it. Dia, what are you going to do? Think of something. You don't have to go this far. That's not for you to decide. Do it. Dia, run! <laughs> He's realized. <gasps> yeah, she's bonkers. I mean, I love her, but she's insane. Stop! What's Wish I could wrong? detach my arm; it would be much it? easier to sleep. <laughs> there, yeah. Flame Mane, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. She knew he wouldn't Where's do the it. Where's sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? Yep, because it wasn't worth it for him. <laughs> You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Damn, Meet okay. Me in the desert at noon tomorrow. All right. Okay, this was cool. Be a good back scratcher. <laughs> True. True. Phew. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Dia! Yeah? <laughs> that was crazy! Have you all lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Hmm, then I'd just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more where they came from. Even if we got rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping yeah, them thanks, out would Noah. do more harm than good. <sighs> She's like, yeah, As pun intended. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. Yeah, you should have done. I should have trusted you. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa. So I'll do whatever <laughs> Thanks, it takes. Bless him. Whatever it takes? <laughs> you just might be scholar material. I love all these ones huh? as friends. Are you serious? The Eremites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? That's how he talks. Yep, that's just how he is. Okay. Let's get moving. That's just how We should he head is. back to the village and rest up. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is going to be the hard part. Oh, that was funny. He's just bragging. It's fine. Oh, just plops me back in Aru village. <laughs> 